Hello, everyone. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Phygenics. Amoeba are the natural host for Legionella, and by chance, an unfortunate circumstance, Legionella will also infect white blood cells in our lungs. Now, the scientific name for those cells is the alveolar macrophage, and I made a little diagram here to show you a little bit more about the uh, host of Legionella in our lungs. So I made a little schematic to kind of remind you what the human lung looks like. See on the left side of the graphic, you can see the diaphragm of the lungs, and you see a cross-section opening of the lungs. So you can see, remember when you studied high school biology, you learned about the little sacs at the end of all those little tubes, the sacs called the alveolus, and alveoli is the plural. There are about 500 million of those little sacs in the male lung, fewer in the female lung. Each one of those little sacs is represented by the diagram on the right side of the graphic. They're very fragile. The tissue is very thin and very easily damaged, and it is the site of gas exchange. You know, when we inhale, and take oxygen into the blood and then exhale to remove carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. Now, if any infective particles reach that portion of the lung deep within the alveolus, there are protections that keep our blood from becoming infected. And the alveolar macrophage, you see it on the slide, the arrow points to that orange colored cell, that's the white blood cell. Macrophage is the scientific name for that which protects, it's sort of the last defense to protect your bloodstream from the infection. The alveolar macrophage is very effective with all kinds of bacteria and viruses and other particles, but has a big time problem with Legionella bacteria because Legionella infect the alveolar macrophage and do just what you saw in that previous video. Lysis from the infected white blood cells causes a massive infection in the lung, and that leads to pneumonia. Here's just a little schematic of it. You can see the infective process, Legionella bacteria descending down the, the lungs into the alveolus, and then you can see these little red blood cells. That's where oxygen exchange occurs, but then you can see this image of the cell that the Legionella is infecting. Those are the white blood cells. Look at this cross-section of a human macrophage. It's a human white blood cell, and you see where Legionella bacteria are indicated on this micrograph. Those bacteria now are being engulfed into the human white blood cell in the lungs, but instead of being killed by the white blood cell, instead they grow. Look at this. This is a cross-section of the alveolus. You were looking at a cartoon of the alveolus a few seconds ago, but now we're looking at a real alveolus sliced in half and stained so that we can see it. See the arrow points into the alveolar space. That's the space on the diagram I showed you before where gas exchange occurs. And over on the left upper graphic, that's a normal, healthy alveolus. But now look down on the bottom right of the graphic. This is an alveolus which is infected. You see how the alveolus is collapsed down. It's not spherical anymore. It's collapsed down. And all of that material in the center is the infection. Legionella bacteria in the alveolar space. See the arrow there? Now, what happens is this alveolar space collapses, and this causes poor exchange of oxygen into the blood and removal of carbon dioxide. This is one reason why the pneumonia is so severe and why patients who even recover suffer debilitating effects. Because if oxygen cannot efficiently get into the blood because of the infection, then very quickly there can be damage of the central nervous system and the brain. And so sometimes the debilitating effects are caused by lack of oxygen to the brain, and it's because of this infection in the alveolus.